rear end is profoundly sore. Feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Purlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Let's look around, see what we can find out. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? People become kind of useless when they're hungry, huh? Everyone doing okay? Not really. We're starving. You're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Looks like another potato. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Place the potato swamp. Gotcha, potato. It's a diamond. No, wait, it's a potato. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Check out what I found! A potato. Incredible. Hey, at least it's food! So, you guys happy now? You mean because you found one potato? There's five of us! Six if you count Reuben. <laughs> potato number two coming your way! Can I have this one? Oh, you had the last one. Oh, yeah. You take it, Ivor. I'm Sorin, not Ivor. Right, of course you are. 
Hey, you guys want to help me look? Probably best if we stay with the horses. The Potato Bringer does it again. We are humbled and awed, oh great Potato Bringer. Hey, Soren, I've got a surprise for you. Oh, is it a squid? What? Why would I have a squid? I don't know, but I'd certainly be surprised. It's a potato. Just eat the darn thing. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. And they know these swamps far better than I. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Did you find any more food? No. Well, sort of, but it doesn't matter. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. And... She's here! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. You nasty old thing. Oh no, skeletons! <laughs> Witches and skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. We can't win this. We need to distract them. Get out of here. Fine, but how? The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall. The what wall? Hey, you witch. You're not the only one who can throw a potion. Come on. Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow. You lost them for wow? What is that? Oh, wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. But at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Farlands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. Doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Ah, huh? a little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on!
Is this a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or, I don't know, some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. Glad I wasn't standing here when this fell. Farlands thing. Huh. We can probably climb these. Everyone! On guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! <sighs> Guys! Climb the vines! That worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. I first met Ruben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay. Safe to say, the far lands are strange.
this place just gets weirder and weirder. Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia! see a way across. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Stone block, that'll come in handy. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. 
Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, at least we're back together. Yes, the Dream Team reunited. <laughs> now the Dream Team's just got to find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. She could have fixed this thing right up. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right. I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she's the greatest redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. The Order of the Nothing. All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we rescued Petra from the Witherstorm. You did that, Jesse, not me. You were all there together. We protected one another. This whole thing has been a group effort. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Everybody get on! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse!
That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> no, no, I'm positive. You spent the whole ride quivering in terror. Soren, are you afraid of flying? <laughs> but the, the man's mad. He's wither crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had amnesia. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. So many books. We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. <laughs> 